the circuit I have is a very simple operational amplifier, the same 741 with the two input. One of the input is grounded, is connected to the ground. To the other input, I am connecting a variable sine wave oscillator and the output is connected to the oscilloscope. So, the exact circuit is here, there are no resistors, you can see there are only two inputs and the output is monitored. Both the input and the output are connected to the X and Y terminals of the oscilloscope. You have the two inputs X and Y, I have used it in the X, Y mode. In every oscillo oscilloscope, you have a selection in the sweep generator to put it into off condition. When you put it into off, then the two input terminals of the dual trace oscilloscope in general will become the X and Y inputs of the oscilloscope and therefore, I have given the X from the input corresponding to the X axis and Y corresponding Y axis I have given to the output and this is the signal generator, the sine wave oscillator basically from a function generator which can generate all types of waveforms, sine, triangular, square, etcetera and we have put it in the sign and these are buttons are for choosing different frequencies. I have chosen something around 1 kilo hertz and therefore, it is about 1.8 now. Using this knob, I can vary the frequency. Using this knob, I can vary the amplitude and the output is connected at the input of the operational amplifier. The pin number 2 is connected to the oscillator, pin number 3 is connected to ground as shown in the picture above and the output pin number 6 is taken and connected to the oscilloscope output for the Y and the one other extra terminal taken from the pin number 2 is given to the X input of the oscilloscope. Now, I have a large amplitude nearly about 1 volt or so here using this knob and therefore, with reference to the terminal 3, the terminal 2 voltage will go plus 1 volt to minus 1 volt or whatever and therefore, it will keep going up and down. Every time it goes up and down, it will certainly cross that 120 micro volt approximately that what I mentioned. Therefore, it will find beyond that 120 micro volt, the output will become saturated at plus 12 volts or minus 12 volts as the case may be. What you see behind is actually the dual supply which is connected to the breadboard. So, you can see on the oscilloscope screen picture which I showed you just now. So, you have a saturation here and you have a saturation here and you have the corresponding slope, large slope. I uh, did not mention to you that the slope, this is a linear portion of the amplifier and if you calculate the slope of this amp, uh, uh, line, vertical line, you would find that gives the open loop gain of the amplifier. So, this gives us a method of measuring the open loop gain also and you can see, I do not know whether you were able to see that. If you come close and have a look at this, you can see there is saturation here, there is saturation here. There are two lines here. I did not explain to you about two lines. Why do you get two lines here? It is very simple to understand because when I come from here, the moment I cross this 120 micro volts, then it will go to the other end and when I come from the below, it is a minus 120 micro volt at which I will make the transition and therefore, these two lines are corresponding to the two limits of that and if I can look at the amplifier position, this is at 5 volts, therefore, it is about 10 plus something, this also is around 10. So, it is around if not plus 12 and minus 12, it is around 10.5 or 11 volts on either side. This is corresponding to minus 11, this is corresponding to plus 11 and you have the two uh, lines corresponding to the two limits crossing the hex axis at maybe plus or minus 120 micro volt. So, this is exactly the same as what I explained to you as corresponding to the transfer characteristics and the slope of this line. If you expand the axis and measure, you can measure the slope by knowing what is delta t and the delta v. If you divide the delta t by delta v, you will get a number which is actually corresponding to the open loop gain of the amplifier.